Today's NCAA announcement is in response to the prostitution sex scandal involving the men's basketball program. The list of penalties include four years probation, head coach Rick Pitino was suspended for the first five games of ACC play, and an unspecified number of wins between December of 2010 and July of 2014 will be vacated. We have live team coverage for you tonight. Dan Koob has more on the impact it'll have on the team. Well, we're going to start with Morgan Lentis, who was at today's press conference. She's live at the KFC Yum Center for us tonight. Morgan. Well, Eric Julie, Rick Patino was defiant when he spoke with the media earlier today. He says that those punishments handed down by the NCAA are over the top, and he says U of L did not deserve it. It's to the point where it's not even conceivable what I just read. Rick Patino did not hold back when challenging the recommendations handed down by the NCAA Thursday. Not only is it unjust, unfast, over the top se severe, but I've lost, personally, I've lost a lot of faith in the NCAA. The organization found that Coach Patino did not monitor his staff appropriately. That includes Andre McGee, who is named in the book Breaking Cardinal Rules as having paid for strippers and sex for basketball recruits. Some of the best leaders in the game have been under me, and one person did the wrong thing. Patino refused to accept responsibility for any violations identified by the NCAA. Instead, he said this. We are embarrassed about what went on, and we're extremely contrite what went on. But that doesn't, one person does not determine the worth of what we're all about as a program. Patino says his faith now rests with the appeals committee as he waits to learn if he will serve a five-game suspension. Whatever the outcome, he says he's staying at the University of Louisville. Leaders lead. Uh, I plan on staying here and winning multiple championships, not just one. I plan on going to multiple Final Fours, not just one. And that's what leaders do. Coach Patino said today at that press conference he does plan to talk about what happened today with his current players. Reporting live outside the KFC Yum Center, I'm Morgan Lentis, WLKY News. Okay, Morgan, thank you. The sanctions will impact the future with lost scholarships and Patino suspension. And the question many people are asking tonight, what will the sanctions do to the program's legacy and will the 2013 championship be taken away? Dan Coop joins us now to discuss the consequences. Yeah, the sanctions levied against the University of Louisville's basketball program are severe, and that's what Rick Pitino, Tom Jurich, and Chuck Smart said time and time again today. The impact of those sanctions could reverberate for years to come in and outside of the program. In addition to probation, the continued loss of scholarships and recruiting hours could hurt the cards, although, to their credit, they've had the best recruiting class in Rick Pitino's tenure. Also mentioned today, no recruit on a visit will be allowed to stay overnight in a campus dorm room, but perhaps the most damaging of all, the possibility of that 2013 National Championship banner being stripped from the cards, a move the NCAA has never made to a Division I basketball champion in its history. One of those penalties is the vacation of records. We're still working through that, but at this time, we believe it could impact 108 regular season games and approximately 15 NCAA wins. If you take the severity of the violations, which again are significant, but if you take the severity of the violations and then you add on penalties such as vacation, which could impact such a significant number of games, we believe that's excessive. And the university has 15 days to notify the NCAA of its intent to appeal, which it already has done. Then they have 30 days to prepare an appeal before the NCAA will respond. The entire process shall last about three months. But once the NCAA appeal committee makes a decision, it is final. Dan Koob, WLKY News. All right, Dan, thank you. Some University of Louisville fans say they're standing by their team no matter what happens next. One fan says he feels Coach Patino cannot be blamed for the actions of former UofL staffer Andre McGee. Another says he hopes the university is successful in the appeals process. He said it would not be fair to punish everyone for the actions of a few. Those violations are, you know, kind of unacceptable, but I think the infractions are kind of harsh, especially, you know, uh, being that it was three, four years ago, and those players are currently not with the program or with the school anymore. You know, I'm still going to uh, wear my New Avail t-shirts, my New Avail gear. I'm still going out of town with my New Avail gear, and hopefully I can still boast about, you know, our NCAA championship, and hopefully this year we will be able to enter the NCAA tournament again and bring another championship home this year. 
And that's one thing UL fans across the board said. They're hoping they'll be able to hold on to that 2013 National Championship banner. 